Hey everybody, it's me, Esther. I pray that your day is amazing. We are back juicing again. Um, today we are going to do, the first thing I'm gonna put in my juicer um, are the bananas. We're gonna see what we do with the bananas and then we're going to do also um, some pears and some apples. I've already pre-prepped everything. So we're going to just drop these right into the blender. Um, I have three, three bananas that um, I am putting in. And I'm sorry, my camera is kind of not picking up everything, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk us through this, um, talk us through it, and uh, we're gonna do this. Um, make sure. Okay, so we're juicing first the bananas. Now, we all know that bananas is really, really good uh, for potassium. Um, I Sometimes I can almost tell um, when my potassium is low. So um, bananas are super, super, super um, good for that. It's I call it a super food for potassium. So here we are with our bananas. Again, we use three pretty large bananas. Um, doesn't look like we're gonna get a whole, whole lot of juice. If you can hear me over this, the thing that I love about bananas is the flavor that it brings to smoothies. So even, even if we don't get a lot of banana juice, it's the flavor that brings it out, that, that brings all the flavors out for me whenever I do the smoothie. So I would probably, um, take the pulp from this and make me a smoothie. Again, out of three bananas, we didn't get a lot of juice at all. So, but that's okay. That's okay because I'm going to take this blend, of course, and I'm going to make me a smoothie. So now I'm getting ready to add this bowl size of apples. So we're going to have the trio blend on today. I'm gonna go ahead and put those in here. Um, I did decor the apples. Um, According to the reviews, you can put the seeds and all of that in there, but I, I don't I don't want that. And I'm making this for my husband. I'll make the smoothie for me, but the juices juices are for my husband. So I don't want him to um to deal with the seeds. So I did decor the apples. <laughs> Y'all, this is a day of relaxation for me, as you can see. I'm very, very casual here at home today. As I am most of my, my early mornings, it's just kind of like my time that I spend talking to God and spend time with my husband. Okay, let's see if we can get these to do. I might have to take this thing all the way down. Let's see. Nope, he's taking it. This is actually the first time I've juiced apples, so I'm just seeing that it's just taking just a little bit more time. But it, it, I've just had to put a little more pressure on the chemistry. There we are. I think maybe I should have diced those a little smaller. Um, again, this is my first time juicing uh, with the apple, so that was a probably a little bit more more of a challenge than what I thought. So what I'm going to do is maybe um, I have a knife in this drawer. 
Maybe I won't put as many in there. Let's just try it that way. this but the apples just seem to be a little bit more oops a little bit more of a challenge um to blend to juice so i think the next time i will probably dice them a little bit smaller okay that's the last little bit of apple so let's finish these off show you what we have so far with the apples and the banana um, we're about 400 units so I think that's I think that's pretty good I, I want to say that was two apples I do believe and then the last um, fruit that we're going to juice with our trio is going to be our pears now the pears are very soft these are the red pears so I think that they are going to juice fairly, fairly, fairly easy. Again, I decored these as well. Um, you know, they it, reviews have said that you can do the juicing with the seeds in there. I just don't think that's good for your digestion, but that's just a personal opinion. Oh yeah, these juice so easily. Now, I'm noticing this. Um, it's just best to wait until your juicer blade stops um, before you take the canister out and add something in because otherwise you're going to get some kind of splash back from that. So that's just my suggestion. I noticed that a moment ago that when, I, it, when it had not stopped, um, one of the apples kind of flew out of there. So probably for safety measures, you just want to make sure that that blade is stopped spinning in there before you go in and reload in your canister. Again, these are um, these are red pears, um, and I think this is going to be a tremendous blend. I really, really, really do. I'm going to chill this for my husband so um, he will have his trio blend juice. Here we are, the last little bit of pears. We got a good amount, y'all. Mm -hmm. We have a good amount there. So, um, it was three apples, three bananas, and two pears. So we're at like 800 units. I'm gonna stir this just a little bit and I'm gonna take a nice little sip. Oh my, and you know what? I'm actually gonna take this pulp and I am going to make myself a smoothie. I'm gonna add in um, a little bit of my smoothie protein mix and that's probably gonna be my lunch. But let's see how this goodness tastes today. Look at that, it's so rich. Now my husband loves for me when I get ready to, to, to give him his, um, he loves to put crushed ice in his, but I like to take, taste it straight out of the blender. So let's try this. Oh my goodness, y'all, this is so good. It is so sweet and it is so refreshing. Yes, 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 yes. I do recommend this again for hydration, for potassium. Um, any of your red fruits are good for your heart. 
Um, so yes, you definitely need to try this. I'm super excited. Um, so that was the bananas, the pears, and the apples. Have a super amazing day. Thank you for juicing with me.